What's up? Sabrina Stern, sitting here in the dressing room waiting on Chris from Slipknot. We'll be right back with the interview. Give this a shot, huh? All right? Yeah, yeah. You got it? What did you do? Tore my ACL. At a show? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very fun. Jumped off Joey's riser and... <laughs> there we go. That's it. Away we go. Well, here we are, back in the dressing rooms, talking to Chris, and we just found out he's got a torn ACL. Came in here on crutches. Thanks for hobbling in here. <laughs> yeah, no problem. It's all good. <laughs> now, you guys are in Atlanta, Georgia tonight. This tour is amazing. I think you have something like 31 stops, and it ends in April, so it's just like bam, 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 bam. I mean, do you get burnt out at all, or...? You know, the road's the road. I mean, we're used to it. It's like, um, it's all we really know, kind of, you know what I mean? So, you know, we go three on, one off, three on, one off, which, uh, you know, makes the time go faster. But every, you know, just that hour and a half that we get with our fans is just, like, priceless. So, the rest of it's hard, but the show is awesome. Right. You know? So, it's a catch-22. Right. So, the, the tour bus being on there. Now, you guys have nine people in your group, which is a, a huge group. And, like, it seems to me, are there any, like, cliques in the group or, like, more people, like, a couple people hang out together and then there's, like, kind of like Yeah, that? yeah, I mean, kind of, you know, it's just, uh, it's actually kind of cool because you have that many people to hang out with. You right. Know what I mean? So, you really never get sick of being in this band, you know, it's always just so crazy and, you know, uh, just a lot of friends. Are you guys always, like, just out partying, going crazy, or is it, like, focused, you know, we, we have do so much that we don't have time for all that. Well, our live show is like brutal enough mm -hmm. to where you really don't want to be that guy, you right. know, but yeah, we have fun, you know, it's cool. Right on. Now, who do you hang out with the most in the group? Um, actually, I kind of move around the most, probably. Oh, yeah? You're you kind know? of like the drifter? Yeah. Yeah, All we around. got we got two band buses, you know, so Corey and I will be in the back usually like after the show playing. Xbox or whatever most of the time. So. <laughs> What's your favorite Xbox game? Well, right now we're tripping out on Tiger Woods. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Tiger Woods. What, what was the one before that? Uh, Big Game Hunter. Big Game Hunter. Well, that's with the guns and everything, Yeah, right? yeah. Nice. Now, do you, is that pretty much your free time? That's what you like to do is just kick back, play some Xbox? Yeah, pretty much, you know. Call the girl. Um, call home. Any other hobbies? Hang out. Uh, yeah, there was until this accident. <laughs> so now I'm pretty, my hobby is uh, making sure I don't screw it up more. Right. Now, you got that from which show? Uh, Columbus. And it was from? Jumping off Joey's riser. Jumping off Joey's riser. In the middle of the show, now, did you know you were hurt? I mean, I'm oh, yeah, sure I thought you I broke. Oh, yeah, I thought I broke it. It was done. Yeah. Did you continue the show? Yeah. Yeah, so just, just dropped out a couple songs and then, you know, just got back out there. Did you go to the hospital that night, or? Yeah, I went to the emergency room, did the whole ambulance ride, and, you know, it's funny, I'm like, uh, flip on the sirens, let's get out of here, you know, I'm, like, let's, <laughs> I'm paying for this, let's use it, you know? Right, because ambulance rides aren't Yeah, cheap. so that's like, oh, woo. <laughs> you know, it was cool, you know, and then I had an MRI the next day, and have surgery whenever I can, you know. Oh, so you got to wait for your surgery, I guess, until yeah. you don't have a, a tour. Now, are you sketched out about that? Like you're you're in some podunk town, like because there's some, you know, your your tour is just going all over the U.S. Like you walk into a uh, hospital, you don't know the doctors and what they're capable of. Yeah, you but I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's one of the benefits of being in a band. You know, you can pick up the vibe off people pretty quick. You know, right. you know if they're good people or not. So, actually, my doctor in Chicago that uh, looked at my MRI and everything, he's awesome. So. Right on. Now, um, Clown's wife, girlfriend, uh, wife. is ill. She's in the hospital. He just came back today, right? Uh -huh. Everything okay? That I mean, great. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Now, you have a significant other back at home. I do. And how is things with you going on the road? Is it? It's cool. Like That's just our relationship, I guess. That's how it's been from the beginning. Yeah, a lot much. of phone calls. You know, she comes out and hangs out. And, you know, it's... Um, it's awesome because then you go back home after the tour and it's like a brand new relationship. You know, you haven't seen each other for so long. Right. So it's like, it's killer. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. There you go. You've been on the road with this band for how many years? 
I think this is year six. Year six. Now, yeah. were you a part of a band before this? Yeah, yeah, we were all in, we were we were all pretty much in local bands, you know, around um, Iowa. Mm -hmm. So and then we just kind of everything just pieced together, you know, you know, fate has it, you know, and um, they're slipped on. Right on. Now, what were your influences before? Did you always know that you wanted to like be famous, be in a big band kind of thing, or was it just kind of something that happened and you're like, cool? Yeah, I mean, everybody. Air guitars in their basement at home, you know, and everybody has those. We air fiddle. Those dreams, yeah. Is that exactly. weird? Air fiddle, uh, you know, air saw. Right. But um, no, you know, it's it's always been a dream, you know, and it was something that, in the back of my mind, I truly believed I wanted to do. So from the know? first time you picked up the sticks, you were just like. Yeah, yeah, just playing like AC/DC songs, you know, just simple stuff and just laying it out like that, you know? Were you, like, when you first started, was it something that you were pouring your heart and soul into, like, every day, and just, like, you're, you got blisters on your hands kind of thing, or was it just something that came so natural to you that you were just like, oh, I got this, this is easy, and didn't have to practice that much? Well, it was weird, because drum drummers have a rough time if you don't have, like, your own place to play. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, then you're at the mercy of, like, your parents, like, leaving, and you got like say 45 minutes just to like bust out as much as you can because it's you know it's so loud and annoying right. that it's it's tough to really sit down and, and hone your instrument. So it was pretty much I just went to the school of uh, beating the absolute shit out of my drums, you know, <laughs> and, and getting the most out of it during that window of time that I had, you know. So it's like you know it, that's just the way it happened, you know. And then once you know, just finding places to jam is just like. Were they pumped on it? Like, were they like, you know, did they not. buy you your first set of drums or anything, or did you have to go like work a lemonade stand? No, or they did when I was a little kid. You know, it was like a Muppet drum set. You know, <laughs> as soon as I pounded on that for a little while, my dad's like, you know, that's done. But uh, it was, uh, it wasn't until I was in my like early twenties that my aunt got me a drum set. And let me practice in her basement. So oh, right on. So you've had support for a, a long time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right on. Now, you guys, you in the tour in Wisconsin. Um, what is going on after that for you? I think we're going to have three weeks off and then um, probably go to Europe. Like right do on. some festivals and some other shows and stuff like that. So you're kind of hanging out with Lamb of God because I know that's what they're going to do. Um, we know Randy from back in the day. Okay. And, uh, he, he said that I guess there's like a festival tour there and then you come back and do some festivals here. Could be. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, I'm, let me yeah, check my I'm planner. Like trying to get out over today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's always a full year for us though when we're on tour, you know. It's like just the way we roll. So anything new in the works that people don't know about yet that you kind of can give us the inside scoop? Well, just this, this tour and this show, you know, it's just like the most elaborate thing we've done. You know, it's the most visually um, appealing show. I saw the semis done. and everything out there. Yeah, I it's on. Seen it's everything, full but... arena rock, like, you know, show. So. Uh, when was the last time? This is an outdoor venue. So have you, do you play a lot of outdoor stuff? No, actually we don't, especially at this time of the year, you know. But, yeah, it's um, not warm outside. <laughs> yeah, we play here in Ozfest, you know, so we're familiar with this place and everything. And, um, you know, but most of them are indoors, you know. How do you like the outdoor? It's more open. I think you can cram a lot more people because of the lawn and stuff. Yeah, the seat, have a seating blows, though. Yeah. You know, it's like you can't see the mix of the, the general crowd. admission crowd. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, you know, I'd rather play indoors. But. Right. Now you have um, some meet and greets after this and stuff like that. Do you, do you have a lot of those with your fans? Like, is it all about yeah, every know, day. going out and every just day. To seeing everybody signing autographs and everything really in touch? Do you answer emails and all that jazz? I'm not the email guy. You're not the email no, guy? No, I don't, I don't have a computer, so I'm not in that world. But I'll definitely <laughs> meet them and sign Do you not autographs. have a computer? It's been years in this. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know, as soon as I get one of those someday, I'll just be absorbed in it, you know. And I just have, I got too much other stuff I like to do rather than sit there and like, geek out on that thing. Right. So. Now, do you have a house back in Des Moines or? I do, yeah. So, you're there, do you have pets or anything? No. Nope. No pets? No. Nope. Just go back and hang with your chick and then back yep. out onto the road. Yeah. Well, it's been an awesome time talking with you here. Good luck on your show. The crowd out there is going nuts. I can hear them back here and we're 
so far back. It's retarded. And uh, this edition has been brought to you by the letter Q and Pampers pre-filled diapers. Later.